What if your teacher enters your classroom, but you feel something strange about her? Probably she looks less human. Less human? What does it mean? That means your school is starting to rely on advanced technologies, and you just saw the magic of a humanoid. In today's video, we are going to have a look at the top 5 Japanese female robots. So, watch this video till the end. Hello, and welcome back to the AI universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. That being said, let's begin the video. In the field of industrial robotics, Japan has remained the world's leading exporter of robots. In terms of both value and number of operating units, the manufacture and development of robotic technology in Japan have increased tremendously since the 1980s. Robots have primarily been used in the assembly of electronic devices and autos. They have the potential to ease some of the economy's difficulties, such as inefficient production and labor shortages. Robotic technologies, on the other hand, have emerged as viable remedies to the immediate consequences of Japan's aging population. They are incorporating robotics into the healthcare industry. Humanoid entertainment robots, androids, animal robots, social robots, guard robots, and other robots are all popular in Japan. Each type has a unique set of traits. Japan has magnificent robotics companies that help Japan to market itself in such a high position in the artificial intelligence sector as well as robotics. Hanson Robotics, for instance, has been creating the world's most human-like robots for more than two decades. Their robots can engage emotionally and intimately with people thanks to their rich personalities and holistic cognitive AI. They can keep eye contact, recognize faces, understand speech, have normal conversations, and learn and grow through experience. But there is more to it. So now let's have a look at the top five Japanese female robots. Starting with Actroid. Actroid is a type of android humanoid robot developed by Asaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company Limited. It has a strong visual human likeness in the animatronics division of Sanrio. It was first shown off at the Tokyo International Robot Exhibition in 2003. The Actroid Lady is a pioneering example of a genuine machine that is akin to imagined machines referred to as androids or gynoids in science fiction. Blinking, speaking, and breathing are just a few of the lifelike functions it can imitate. The replies models like this one are interactive robots that can recognize and comprehend speech, as well as reply appropriately. The first feature Actroid allows is to gracefully handle interruptions. The researchers discovered that disruptions happen roughly 26% of the time in their human-robot interaction trial. The trouble is that, despite repeated interruptions, the robot would blithely carry on with its spiel until it was completed. Not very elegant in social situations. The robot can now abruptly terminate its current topic and gracefully transition to the new response thanks to the new interruptibility feature. People interacted with the robot for substantially longer when it was interruptible. Thus, those few seconds mattered. Let us introduce you to the cute robot Asuna. People often think to themselves, that's creepy, when they see humanoid robots. But Asuna, on the other hand, is so human-like that you might instead think she's cute. Researchers discovered that when people view something that appears to be too human while still falling short of appearing exactly like a genuine thing, such as a doll or robot, they have an instinct to respond with revulsion. However, researchers are currently looking into the possibility that highly human-like robots like Asuna may be able to circumvent this rejection totally and be seen as ordinary people. Asuna is a lovely 15-year-old who was born in Tokyo, according to her official profile. She stands 155 centimeters tall and weighs 43 kilograms. Every little feature, from her skin of her eyes to her hair, is designed to look like it belongs to a genuine person. It was created by a lab company, Limited's Robotics Geniuses. She's even capable of conversing with others. While some find her creepy in her similarity to a real person, others find her cute and kawaii. The third one is Erica. Erica is a high-tech android that was created as a research platform for studying human-robot interaction. It speaks in natural language, has a human-like voice, and can make a range of facial expressions. Erica enjoys the theater and animated films, hopes to go for outings, and considers her ideal companion to be a man with whom she can easily converse. Erica is the most advanced humanoid to emerge from a partnership between Osaka and Kyoto universities, as well as the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute. Erica looks like a young female reporter, and her voice has been dubbed to sound like that of a 23-year-old lady. Erica can process sound, both from its source and from its interactions with humans. The robot can readily differentiate distinct noises from a conversation thanks to audio processing. This is accomplished utilizing a model known as the Advanced Voice Synthesis System, according to Mr. Ishiguro, her creator. With 15 inbuilt infrared sensors and object detection algorithms, it can also track movement around it. Erica, on the other hand, is missing her limbs and legs. It can speak but not move because it is not required to. 
The job entails reading the news from behind the desk, which it has done successfully throughout the trial runs. Erica will not be collecting or curating the news. Moving on to the next is a receptionist human robot. According to a university news release, scientists at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore have debuted Nadine, a socially intelligent, human-looking robot with her personality, attitude, and feelings. Professor Nadia Thelman, the humanoid receptionist's human inventor, predicted that physical social robots like Nadine are poised to become increasingly apparent in offices and households in the future at a new media exhibition Tuesday NTU. The humanoid robot, which is powered by artificial intelligence software, is designed to operate as a receptionist, welcoming visitors, shaking hands, and looking them in the eyes during a conversation. Scientists from all over the world have been working to develop robots that can aid people at home or work. Her hands are likewise quite realistic. Nadine is a kind, socially intelligent robot who returns your greetings, makes eye contact, and recalls all of your pleasant conversations with her. She can respond to queries in multiple languages and express emotions through gestures at her face, depending on the nature of the connection with the user. Nadine can recognize people she's met before and have a natural discussion with them. Nadine's facial expressions and upper body motions have a total of 27 degrees of freedom. She can recognize anyone she's met and recalls details and events about each of them. When no one is around, Nadine is the perfect companion. She can help persons with disabilities, read stories, show photographs, do Skype sessions, write emails, and connect with family members. She is part of a new generation of human-assistive technology that is desperately needed because society cannot afford to hire a full-time social worker for each person with special needs. She can act as a personal private coach who is always there when no one else is. Okay, now be quiet. The teacher we talked about in the beginning is about to enter this classroom. Yes, the last for the top five list is a teacher robot Saya. Saya is a teacher robot developed by the Tokyo University of Science. It can express human emotions, communicate in several languages, assign assignments to students, and take roll calls. As its rubber skin is pulled from the back with motors and wiring around the eyes and lips, the robot teacher, named Saya, can exhibit six fundamental emotions. Surprise, fear, disgust, anger, happiness, and sadness. A human monitors it via cameras and controls it remotely. Saya, a lifelike female who began her career as a robot receptionist at Japanese corporations before being reprogrammed to teach, actually gave a lesson to fifth graders at Tokyo's Kyuten Elementary School. Professor Hiroshi Kobayashi of Tokyo University of Science, who designed Saya, says she isn't meant to take the place of human teachers, but rather to demonstrate the benefits of technology. Saya, on the other hand, may be able to assist in schools where there is a teacher shortage, he suggested. Kobayashi said, in the countryside and some small schools, there are children who do not have the opportunity to come into contact with new technology. And also there are few teachers out there that can teach these lessons. I wish I could go back to the classroom and give a present to a human robot. Who else here is having the same urge to be a child again to have a humanoid teacher like Saya in the future? Tell me in the comments. That's it for the day, guys. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.